Good morning, everybody. It's Christian from Screen Education with the Four Majors Analysis Update for the 20th of April 2011. Hi, everybody. It's just going to be looking over the Four Majors, starting with the Euro against US dollar on our CTC strategy template this morning. Let's have a look at the daily. After a very negative start to the week, we've seen this pair bounce off the 20 period moving average. This is after the so called breach um, and then a retest of a previous. Support and resistance level roughly around the 1423-2400 mark. That is resistance, resistance, then the breakout, pullback, continuation, then the pullback right through to this area here and the bounce. It's trading well above the 20 period moving average. Uh, Asian market trading last night and the European session open this morning has seen the pair um, revert to the upside. Uh, which is great. So as long as it's trading above that area, ideally above the previous resistance level, this one over here. So anything above 14,3500 is great because by doing so, we're looking at a potential of the 1450s, the 14,500 again being retested. CTC is still in our favor. So as long as this pair can has found support at this level here, prior resistance and trading above a previous swing high. At 143500, then we should be looking for further extensions to the upside. Let's have a look and see if there's any momentum shift, however, on a smaller time frame. Let's have a look. Uh, you can see the extensions on the 4 eye chart after that pullback and then that bounce at the previous 1423 mark on the 4 hour 14. There we go. Resistance, 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 breakout, pullback, then the continuation to the upside. Then smack into the 14,500 mark, then the pullback. The pullback, significant enough to actually break the major long term uh, trend line on a daily, but not strong enough to actually break the prior resistance level. So, founding support at this 14,300 mark and bouncing to the upside. It's now trading or testing the underside. Of this prior consolidation around the before the 1450 mark so if we can break higher than that then we're going to get a bit of consolidation as you can see to that area there but that would mean that we need to see it trading well above the 50 period moving average now so going in today ideally if we can see a close above this candle the half this candle here at 1441 then Definitely looking for extensions. You can see CTC is in our favor now on a 4 hour. So hourly, you can see the same thing. But we have a 200 period moving average acting as a resistance the past couple of hours. We've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours of headbutting. And that headbutting is coming along a prior support area. Support, 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 breakout, pullback. Resistance down trend. So we need to be trading above that 1440, 100 that we saw on an hourly. Got to be. If we can't, then all we're seeing is the underside of this resistance level so, or price support being tested and then a reattempt to the downside. So 1450 all time high, but as long as this doesn't post another high but lower than this one over here, then it's going to show us if we see a pullback around here and a failure to break higher than 1440-100 during the course of this week, then what it's showing is that a new high which is going to be lower than the previous high is forming and then it's telling you that market sentiment is now changing. So it's ideal that if it's just to continue being bullish, then we need to see a break above that 41, 41, 14, 41 area. Notice the trend, very steep, but we need it to be closing higher to show us confirmation. Failure to do so and failure to break higher than 14, 41 will just mean that this pair hitting a resistance level or forming another resistance level at this area here which happens to be a prior support area and what happens if he gets a failure of a, at a resistance a prior resistance oh, sorry support is a new high forming but it's lower than the previous one so it's showing the market sentiment is dropping so it's, a, it's vital that it closes the higher than this to confirm that there's still bullishness to the upside the failure to do so we we'll just see a consolidate around this area here and then Form lower low or higher low and confirm that we could see a potential of the prior low at um, roughly around the 14 1900 mark being used and then we could see the, the momentum shifting from 
very bullish at 14.50 to now to failing to break higher than 14.41, forming a new high here, which is going to be lower than that, and then it's going to show you the market sentiment is changing long term. So use 14.41 on your smaller time frames, your intraday time frames, your 15 minute, your 30 minute entries as your yardstick today. Trading above 14.41, for those of you not in this trade as we speak, for those of you who are, just use it as a marker. Swing highs, trading above all the moving averages, so on a 15 minute chart, 30 minute chart, all looking positive. However, we've had resistance here, you can see momentum starting to shift. It's vitally important that we get this, we see price trading of well above 14.41 going into the US session or the remainder of this week. Failure to break above 14.41, just confirming that a new high, which is going to be lower than the previous one at 14.50 is forming, and we see market sentiment dipping now. Okay, so use it as a yardstick, guys. Don't trade Euro, US dollar for a new entry unless it's trading above 14.4100. End of story. Next up is the sterling against US dollar. Let's have a look at the daily. This pair just pretty much trading sideways. 16.400 I mentioned, or lower. If you take the wicks, roughly around the what do we have here? 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 16, 3, We have a resistance level. I've gone for 16, 400. It sticks out a lot better and there's further resistance in the past at this area. <coughs> but you can see price has failed to break above this. I mean, well extended. All this momentum drive to that area and then just trading sideways. I mean, it's, it's, it's pulled back a number of times. It just tested the 1600 over the past a uh, couple of months and we've seen it consolidating in the past week or so after the initial pullback at 162500 now as long as 162500 is not breached to the downside then it's safe to say that we could see a reattempt of 16400 going uh, into this the remainder of this week or the following week so prior resistance being new support, still trading above the moving averages, which is ideal for an uptrend. CTC, we can see, is bullish, even though we're in a consolidation range. So, just could be going sideways. I mean, ideally, if you want to be trading momentum, then oof, we, we want to be trading this type of stuff. Um, a large bullish engulf, you know, bullish wicks, or even selling. You know, Big ranges. This, yeah, very topsy turvy. I mean, you, you might be able to get your your pips during the intraday course, but we want to be trading with momentum. We can get into the momentum, and then ideally you can be getting your targets quite quickly, and you're still getting more on top of that. So you're getting a, a bigger bang for buck or bigger return of investment. So lower swing here. Just be aware of it. Price is testing that area on a daily. If you're looking the wicks for lower swings, this prior swing is now in session however it's a, I'm looking at a daily time frame so this this particular candle has to close so a lot of action could happen we could see price moving to the upside only for it to fall back during the US session so there's a possibility that if this is a genuine lower swing and is testing this inter, uh, this intermediate swing to the downside we could see a little fake out seen it before little wicks forming up and then pulling down if you want to look at that and you're trading the wicks, then you can go for the high wick here, pull it down, and you can see we're testing it right now as we speak. So there's two ways of looking at this. Just draw it correctly. So you can see that not only is it testing the intermediate trend, but it's also testing the previous swing uh, low, which is the high for the open on this candle here at 1634.90. Got to be trading above 16.34.90 going into the US session to see the momentum drive to the upside. If it fails to break over 16.39, um, yeah, 16.39.40 before the US session, then we could see that just having little fake outs like that, little wicks, and then reverting to the downside. And by doing so, forming another swing low to the downside and momentum just not pro progressing any further than 16.40. So we're seeing a potential. Uh, head and shoulders type patternish thing <laughs> don't even think there's anyone but momentum is she you can see it's just not moving any higher and we could see 
um, is reverting back to the downside again and 1625 being a potential target uh, there again is 1620 hundred and all-time low well back to 1600 in fact so let's have a look at the intraday you can see the extensions are higher highs as this pairs gain momentum so it's pulling back to 1600 and then the prior high it's not on here but you can see that we're now trading there there thereabouts it's there's one definitely at 163600 for this pair so ideally you want to see price trading above that area and there for potential of the 1640 or 16400 or 164100 depending on if you trade in the wicks it goes way up there to 16 uh, 4250 but you can see there's a definite lower swing that was formed and we need to be trading higher than that lower swing otherwise what we what we'll potentially see is that fake out occurring and then we see price reverting to the downside so it's important that price is trading above this area going into the US session otherwise what we could see is price revert uh, just testing these areas like it's done before only for it to be pulling to the downside it's trading above all the moving averages which is great but as long as we don't see price or failing to break above the 1636 or 30, 1637 mark then what we could do is we could see a resistance in uh, form or forming in this area which is going to be on par or lower than that and you can see momentum shift see what I'm seeing so I've got to be trading about well, well above 163700 to be showing you confirmation or further extensions and then we could be looking at the 1640 to start with or 164250 uh, as potential targets long term CTC on our small time frames of 30 15 and the far, far, far minutes pretty much going sideways consolidating over overnight we've seen a bit of an upside movement on the Asian market but as I mentioned we're now use the yardstick of uh, 1635 as your resist your ideal area where price needs to be trading above you can see that you're getting higher swings um, trading above all the moving averages on a five minute so the only thing that's missing at the moment now is the breakout of the 1635 mark to show us further extensions to the upside um, you can see on our 30 minutes on our 50 minutes that momentum is definitely favoring further extensions but as I mentioned with anything you've got to see a break of a previous uh, previous high on that particular time frame so the Asian high is 1635 would be the ideal uh, you can see we have higher swings which is all fantastic so the only thing we can look for now is 1635.50 is a break and I mentioned that we're testing that swing low so imperative that this pair is able to break above that on a daily to confirm otherwise what we're going to do is see it uh, test the previous swing this is an, uh, the four-hour chart just go through it pull back fail at this resistance level here cause, and then revert to the downside again so just be aware of that guys next up is the US dollar against Swiss franc look at the daily time frame this pair testing the 900 area which happens to be a prior support we're on a negative extension to the downside so this breakout happened over here broke a prior support area this is the pullback are we seeing the start of the resistance or the progression the continuation now so with any uh, breakout there's always a uh, pullback and then a continuation uh, still trading well above well below all the moving averages and the swing lows are still pointing south CTC is well extended on a daily time frame to negative extensions look at that we've come down from highs roughly up to 16 the 1.16500 mark and we're trading now at below the 0.900 so well extended to the downside the US dollar has been taking an annihilation against the chief so Asian market trading has seen the pair move lower and is now engulfing yesterday's trading range so very negative if we see a continuation of that obviously then we're going to see the prior support around the 0.893 mark being tested 
So daily, look for intraday, shorting opportunities. So you can see on the 4 hour, for example, 50 period moving average acting as a resistance level for this pair at the run figure of 0.9, 0.900. Zero point nine hundred mark, higher swings, and those higher swings have been breached now. And then during the course of the Asian market session, we've seen price reverting to the downside. CTC is negative, so four hour is giving us a sell. Same here. See the two hundred period moving average acting as resistance level yesterday, pushing it lower. Price has failed. Swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing breakout pullback. Continue in a pullback failure to close higher has seen price revert to the downside now selling occurring 30 minutes same thing That over there would have been the 200 on the previous chart Price has failed at 900 had to break above 900 mention it's got to be 900 because that's previous resistance and support failed to do so during the course of yesterday saw it headbutting or a large, uh, a large range type, and then Asian market, we see in price revert to the downside, trading below the 50 and the 20 period moving average. Going into this US, this morning European session open, failed again. So we've seen price revert to the downside, and if you look at it, 100% projection level of this pair. If you look at it, swing lows form now. So. 0.8955, which takes the run about to the 200 period moving average on the 30 minute chart. Break of that would see 0.8935 being tested at the 161.85. And then way down here, 261.8 is the 0.8905 mark, which will take us back to a previous support area. So on 30 minutes, price keeps falling. That is definitely what's in store for us. Further selling. So look for. Potential sell opportunities on the US dollar Swiss franc today. The last pair today is the US dollar against Japanese yen. Let's have a look at the daily. Price has broken well below the 200 period moving average on a daily time frame, so that bullishness has kind of faded. Well extended. That pullback is very, a very strong pullback. And it's taken us well below the 200 period moving average, which I was hoping was going to be our support area for this pair bouncing on that would have definitely seen a, a, a bullish confirmation of a further upside movement further to do so, do so has seen price the following day close lower which confirmed uh, negativity and we are now trading lower we have found a bit of support in the 50 period moving average and as of this morning the asian session took it higher european session open has seen the price pull back slightly but if you can find support at this level at the 8250 mark then we could see the underside of the 8350 being retested CTC is negative though so be aware of that be very cautious we are trading negative we are testing the trend line downtrend so be well aware of that if it closes lower than 8250 going to the US session this afternoon then we could see Further extensions to the downside with all the moving averages being breached by then. That will just be a consolidation breakout, and then we'll be looking at lower lows for this pair. So, intraday, notice a four hour chart, beautiful swing lows, then the consolidation. I mentioned yesterday, so where there's a lot of consolidation, heads up, there could be a potential for upside movement. And sure enough, we saw price close higher, and we've seen it move higher. Now, in order for it to be continue to be bullish, it needs to break obviously prior um, the prior resistance level in this case or prior support. It's trading above the 20 period moving average as we speak, but also above the 200, which is a good sign. It just needs to find a bit of momentum now. It's broken this downtrend on a four hour. This needs that. Uh, daily should be trading above the 8350, but that could be our first target. The 8350, which is the long term support, is the underside of that 8350 the next target? Remember, we're still negative, guys. So, heads up, just be cautious. There is a previous support and resistance. Resistance 
support support at the 8310 mark so use it as a guide stick trading above 8310 it's not too far off then we're definitely looking at 83.5 as a potential if I was to break above 83.10 intraday which means that negativity is still in the play and there's a potential of further downside movement occurring 200 period moving average on the 30 minutes has been tested breached but failed that's at 83.10 mark I mentioned again on a bigger time frame Res support 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 breakout bang resistance failed again even though the 200 period moving average is there it's still not trading above it so needs to 83.10 for the Japanese the US dollar Japanese is going to be our dipstick for intraday trading it needs to be trading above that area to confirm a potential push to the upside to the 83.50 failure to do so would see price reverting to the downside and because we're in a negative trend long term then we should be seeing that con um, continue in our intraday trading that's for today guys hope you have a fantastic day today if you're not in trading and you're outside enjoying the the weather then heads up to you have a cold ones on me uh, but enjoy your trading make sure that you follow the the rules of the ctc strategy template uh, make sure your money management is also uh, adhered to and just enjoy it yeah enjoy your trading you know, shouldn't be scared of your training just enjoy your training as long as you understand the principles of what you're looking for you should be quite successful trade serenely